Hey hockey players, Coach Garner here from HockeyTraining.com. In this video, I want to run you through three different healthy desserts that you can start incorporating into your meal planning today. Look, a lot of us love to have a treat every now and then, but none of us really want to go off track from our goals in hockey or body composition transformation. These are the healthy treats that you can use to have something good and still stay on track. You're going to love them. Let's get into it. All right, the first recipe we're gonna make is healthy, high protein chocolate ice cream. What you're gonna need to make this recipe is one tablespoon of mascarpone cheese, a half a cup of chocolate whey protein, three quarter cups of ricotta cheese, preferably the low fat version, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. The first step is simply measuring out each ingredient and adding them to a blender. Alternatively, you can use a hand blender to make things easier if you have one at home. Once you've got the ingredients measured out, we want to blend this on high until it turns into a smooth mixture. All right, now that we got that all blended up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a lid on this thing and we're gonna put it in the freezer. And you're gonna wanna take it out and stir it a little bit once every 30 minutes. And you're gonna wanna do that little stir every 30 minutes at least three times before you start eating it. All right, so just a quick stir like you see me doing here. And after your third time stirring it, the ice cream should be ready to eat. Let it sit for a minute or two, scoop, and enjoy. All right, the next recipe we're gonna get into here is low carb protein peanut butter cookies. All you're gonna need is four things. We're gonna need a quarter cup of coconut milk, a quarter cup of ground almonds, a half a cup of vanilla whey protein, and two heaping tablespoons of peanut butter. Before you start prepping the cookies, we're going to want to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. From there, you wanna mix all the ingredients together until a dough is formed. We're going to put down a sheet of parchment paper on a baking sheet and transfer the cookie dough onto the paper. Press each cookie down with a fork to flatten them out just a little bit, like you see me doing here. All right, now that we got our cookies laid out, we're gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. But keep an eye on them. Everybody likes their cookies cooked a little bit different. 10 minutes is gonna have them cooked and a little bit soft on the inside. Once your cookies are done, take them out of the oven and let them sit for a few minutes and enjoy. All right, keeping these healthy desserts nice and simple. Now we're gonna do a no-bake, high-protein, healthy cheesecake. There's a lot of ingredients here, so I'm not gonna go through how much you need for each one, but you're able to find that in the description below and also in the downloadable free healthy hockey recipe guide that we got prepared for you. But what you are gonna need is three scoops of vanilla whey protein, uh, whey protein powder, you're gonna need some low-fat cream cheese, some low-fat cottage cheese, some instant jello, preferably chocolate, but using a cheesecake flavor also works here. You're gonna need gra uh, graham cracker crumbs, you're gonna need flaxseed meal, some oat bran, and then you're gonna want a nine inch cooking pan here to put this all in. So how this is all gonna work is we're gonna oil up the pan first, lay the crust down, and then put the filling on top after that. Okay, so we're gonna start off by making the crust. In a bowl, combine the graham cracker crumbs, flaxseed meal, and oat bran. And then, we're gonna to wanna to heat up the cream cheese for about 15 seconds and mix it all together until we get an even consistency. Once you're done, you'll wanna coat the pan with cooking spray and press the crust into the pie pan as best as you can. Next, we're going to make the cheesecake filling using a blender. Combine the cottage cheese, cream cheese, protein powder, and jello pudding mix into the blender and blend on high until the texture is smooth and creamy. Pour the filling over the top of the crust evenly and put the cheesecake into the fridge for a minimum of one hour. Once you're ready to eat the protein cheesecake, simply remove from the fridge and enjoy right away. 
Thanks for watching our hockey training nutrition video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you want a free hockey recipe guide that includes all three of these desserts, plus so much more, make sure you click on the link in the description below.